I drove over this spot a little bit ago and I could mark fish and I just got downwind of it, pointed the nose of the boat straight into where my point of interest is and spot lock and I can just sit here and work this spot over really well. I can start from one side and work over, but it's a small spot. I'm not, I'm not covering a lot of ground with this because I kind of know exactly where the fish are. Yep, there's one right there. Sure enough, coming up. There he is. First cast on this spot, throwing a big heavy tube. And one thing about a nice big heavy tube is it allows me to be really, really versatile in fishing deep or fishing shallow. Wow, and he smoked it too. Look at that guy. Sweet. <clears throat> Nice, great, big one. Take him any day. He's living in 20, about 20 feet of water. And you wouldn't necessarily think you'd fish a tube in 20 feet of water, but with his great big heavy head, I can do that. And I'm just ripping this. Look at, he got it real good. I'm ripping this tube. And it's mid midsummer, boy, those hooks are wicked. Midsummer fish can be real fickle at times. And all I'm looking for is a reactionary strike. With that bait right there, that really does it. You know, I'm fishing around some rock and um, I'm just ripping that tube. I'm gonna get her back. Look at, she's been eating real well. Ripping that tube real fast and erratic. I'm not hopping it or messing around. I'm just jerking that thing. I'm stroking the snot out of that. It's a great way to uh, get fish to bite. They don't get a chance to really look at it all that much. Basically, it looks like a crayfish or some other kind of bait fish scooting across the bottom. And um, they, either, they either want it now or never. It's gone. I don't, I don't sit there and drag it. That's not what this is. I don't drag it at all. I'm just ripping it, ripping it, ripping it. I'm keeping it on the bottom. I'm, I'm fishing it semi-slack so I can feel a bite if they do pick it up on the fall, but I'm not totally slack lining them. The other nice thing about fishing this way is I'm using a heavy bait. And you know, when guys are drop shotting and doing that kind of real finesse-like, um, it gets hard sometimes detecting a bite in the wind. Well, I can blast the cast right straight into the wind and, and cover a lot of water. I can make a long cast, and it's not really a feeling game. I'm not really trying to detect a bite. Um, they'll pick this up, and I'll, I'll usually, basically by ripping it, you're setting the hook, essentially. So I'm not trying to detect whether or not, oh, is it a bite maybe, is it, is, no, uh, you know. If you got a lot of wind, and it's, it, that wind is always working against you, this is a really good way to just kind of power fish through spots and it gets bit because they, they don't necessarily, um, they just don't get a good chance to really look at it. So you're fishing around rock and stuff, crayfish are always scooting around and going darting here and there. Those, those fish, they got to eat it now or never. So that's what, you're, that's what you're essentially doing is you're eliciting a reactionary bite. Oh, there he is. Got him. Horsefly. Oh, wow, he's coming at me fast. Jeez. Nice. Sweet. Very nice. Love it. On the tube. They do eat that thing. God, look at he's puking up crayfish. It's usually a good indicator that I'm throwing the right bait when you see a bunch of crayfish crap coming out of them and puke and all that. Stroking a tube up in shallow water, deep water, it works wherever they might be eating some crayfish. <laughs> <laughs> 